When you think about the world of celebrities, you see them on screen in various ways, and you can't help but think, I'd love to meet them one day. But as the old saying goes, never meet your heroes. Or at least, sometimes you shouldn't meet them, because they act in ways you might not expect, might not hope, and of course, in ways that are honestly kind of mean. Allow us to show you some examples of this. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. Donald Trump For the longest time, the name Donald Trump was associated with success, power, and business acumen. Especially when he did his show The Apprentice, which became not only a powerhouse show for a while, but helped boost Trump brand. But when he ran for president of the United States in 2016, a different side of Trump slowly started to reveal itself. And then, when he won the presidency, he revealed that he might have just been the most idiotic and incompetent person to ever take the office. Which is saying something, because we've had bad presidents before him from ones who were basically racist to ones who did nothing memorable and beyond. But Trump? He's so out there that he constantly lies, constantly berates people who don't believe his point of view, and abuses Twitter like no one else. Trump's a fool, and if you honestly do want to meet him, might be part of the problem because you're likely a person who voted for him to get into office. Number 6. Ellen DeGeneres Ellen is a person on kind of the opposite side of the spectrum from Trump, and yet it's kind of similar to him. Because when you watch Ellen on her talk show, she seems like the person you want to meet because she's happy, smiles a lot, and is known for hosting a fun time on her show. However, reports have come out from various people across many circles of Ellen that she's not as happy-go-lucky as you'd expect. She's much more blunt, curt, and sometimes even hilariously mean to people. Some staff have filed complaints against her because of how she treats them at times, which is not a good look. Then, even more reports came out saying that she helped create a toxic work environment with her executive producers and people were literally calling for her to be fired. While that didn't happen, Ellen's brand did take a big black eye. Ellen had to apologize profusely for her actions. So while Ellen may seem like the perfect host and person, she's not at all. Number 5. Kanye West If Kanye was just a musician who made a controversial songs, which he's most definitely done, he wouldn't be on this list. Even after what he did to Taylor Swift, even after his numerous outbursts and such, he wouldn't be on this list because that would just make him a jerk, right? The truth, though, is much more sad. Kanye has bipolar disorder, and as a result, he has mood swings that can have him explode on someone at a moment's trigger or get into a funk that will affect everyone around him. What's more, he refuses to be treated. As a result, he'll go and do random things just because he's in the mood for it. Like oh, I don't know, run for president, even though he honestly can't. But to Kanye, yeah, he can. Number 4. John Oliver Alright, let's get to a more positive set of celebrities who aren't what they seem. John Oliver started his career in America doing stand-up and The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, which eventually led to him getting a show on HBO called Last Week Tonight with John Oliver a show that mixes comedy with real-world events to keep you informed about various things that you likely never expected to hear about on that day. John's hilarious and unabashedly passionate about these topics, even the more hilarious ones. So when you meet him in real life, you'd expect him to be cracking jokes and such and be just as energetic, right? Except, no, not like that at all. In fact, he's only that way when he's doing his show because it's a more controlled environment. He doesn't want the attention. He wants the attention to be on the topics themselves. You watch his interviews on CBS This Morning and others, you'll see he's rather shy and clearly doesn't want to be there. Which is honestly kind of refreshing because comedians are thought to be all comedy all the time, and yet that's not the case at all as Oliver proves. Number 3. Chris Evans When you think of Chris Evans, you might think of him as the most confident man on earth. After all, he played Captain America for the Marvel Cinematic Universe for over a decade to great applause from fans and critics, embodying the character in a way that made him a delight to watch on screen every time he was on it. However, if you were to ask Chris Evans about his confidence level, you'll get an interesting answer. He suffers from anxiety and depression, and has almost quit acting multiple times. And while he may have loved being in the MCU and being a legendary character, he hated having all the media attention on him. Which again, is not something you'd expect from a major celebrity like him. 
He's a great actor, and yes, he's a great guy, but he needs to take care of himself to keep going, and that's good, because he admits he has a problem and is working to make him better, which he is doing great at, unlike Kanye. Number two, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is known as America's sweetheart because of her time in the country music industry and the amazing voice that she has in the songs she sang. But for a girl who speaks about the toughness of heartbreak, she dated a lot of guys during her prime years, and we mean a lot. In fact, a rumor started spreading around that she would date random guys or celebrities, break up with them, and then make a song based on her experiences. Plus, she has had a dark phase or two, like when she left country music to do pop and sing some sometimes not-so-nice songs. But yes, Swift is amazing with her fans, but catch her when she's not entertaining people, might just see a side you never expected. Number 1. Michael Jordan This one hurts, because for the majority of the 90s, the motto was, be like Mike. But Michael Jordan himself would tell you to not do that. This is because his personality is an acquired taste in real life. He's been known to be very rude and demand to pay for photos at times. And he's a competitive person to a fault, which has led to serious gambling issues. Plus, he'll never be afraid to cuss you out, make blunt statements, and more. He's still the GOAT of basketball, but he's definitely not the greatest person ever. There you go, some celebs who may appear to be one thing, but definitely are not. Which of those celebs were you shocked to find out about on this list? Which ones do you feel you won't want to meet now? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.